you were ever questioning whether or not we were meant to be together, I think the fact we pushed through this goddamn pandemic uh, to get here is proof enough that we can't be kept apart. You're honestly the funniest person I've ever met. And even though you hate it well, also the rudest. I love our animal adventures, whether it's taking our own fat boy for a walk, or when you wake me up in the middle of the night because a cat followed you home, <laughs> or because we need to save a green tree frog. I love you. More than Kissel loves puffins, more than Marcus loves pickles. Or even more than Zabrowski loves banana cream pickles. <laughs> I love how much you love. <laughs> so finally, a question for you, Robin. Do you have the guts? I've been wondering if your heart's still open, and if so, I want to know what time it shuts. down and pucker up. I'm sorry to interrupt, it's just I'm constantly on the cusp of trying to kiss you. Aside from braving the plot of Steven Soderbergh's cult classic Contagion to get here, the things I love most about us are not any grandiose displays of affection, public statements of fatum, they're the little things in our everyday life that make me fall in love with you a little bit more every day. I don't know if you feel the same way as I do, but we could be together if you wanted to. <laughs> For the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. McKenzie! with some devastatingly charming compliments. But it's not hard to understand why he was so fascinated. I mean, look at Robin. Ladies, you're looking beautiful. She's ravishing today, isn't she? <laughs> So the next speaker, I understand, is Robin's partner in crime. And I don't mean Batman. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I can easily call Robin my best friend and as an only child I can only imagine this is what having a sister feels like. However, in 2015, a boy named Andrew 
end of the picture. Everyone knows I'm a sucker for a pretty dress and I've seen some real beauties today. I'm so happy they found each other and their love is palpable and they're a pleasure to be around. Andrew, yours is very pretty also. When people first met Andrew and Robin together as a couple, I think some have asked, what could Robin possibly see in this peacocking, bulky boy? You're welcome. Uh, she's my problem now. You, you really have raised an absolute sweetheart of a daughter. But when you spend time around them together, it's clear that they're the perfect match. I'm, I promise to you that I will take just as good care of her as you would expect me to. I need a kid.